by the end of this video you'll be able to solve domain and range of this function among different types of questions seen in the exam involving domain and range functions to solve this problem let's understand what is domain domain is simply all possible allowable x values you can permit in your function and for each domain there is a corresponding range value in the options for each domain there is a corresponding range that is exactly how is represented in the options just as you see domain and range now let's solve this function step number one let's consider some basic principles in one of the basic principles negative is not allowed inside a square root a negative inside a square root tends a function to infinity which is undefined however since we don't have a denominator zero is allowed inside the square root the answer is zero zero is an answer and can be found on the number line step number two solve the expression inside the square root zero can be allowed inside the square root hence we equate it to zero you can see x here is equal to 1 over 2. Step number 3. At s equal to 1 over 2, which is the domain, what is the corresponding range? Next, instead of x, we are going to input 1 over 2. You can see when our domain is 1 over 2, we obtained a range of 1. Next, consider the number line. 1 over 2 is in between 0 and 1. Let's try values towards the negative infinity. Here, let's start with 0. Then, we're going to try minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and values going towards this direction. Testing for 0, we obtain the square root of minus 1 is i. However, in domain and range function, complex root does not exist at this stage. Next, let's try minus 1. Minus 1 we still tend the function to infinity, which is undefined. If we try minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and all the values towards this direction, it will still tend to infinity. Hence, the maximum value of domain we can accept is 1 over 2. After 1 over 2, we can accept 1, 2, 3, 4, and every other number going towards positive infinity for domain let's try one and with one which is the domain we obtain the range to be two next let's try two at the domain of two we got our range you can observe the increment of two which is moving towards positive infinity. You can see that the least value domain can take is 1 over 2. And x cannot take any value going towards negative infinity. And at the domain equal to 1 over 2, the range is equal to 1. And our answer will be represented in the form of domain and range. When the domain is 1 over 2, the range gave us 1. And 
if this function must continue, the value of x, which is the domain values, will continue moving towards positive infinity. Hence, we write it this way, separating this with a comma. And if the domain will keep going towards infinity, the range will equally tend towards infinity. And when we substituted half, we equally got a range. The square bracket is telling us that 1 over 2 is acceptable. And the acceptable 1 over 2 equally produced an acceptable 1. And if the domain continues towards infinity, the range will also continue towards infinity. And this becomes our domain and this becomes our range and our final answer is C. You can check out other types of domain and range questions and other topics in precalculus. You can locate and assess other videos by following the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.